Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another PossibilityStorm.com puzzle. And this week, we have not just a PossibilityStorm.com puzzle, but according to the PossibilityStorm crew, this is the single hardest puzzle that they have ever produced, ever produced in the history of the series. So if you're interested in checking out the Rivals of Ixalan season of Possibility Storm, make sure to head over to their Patreon anyway, like usual, going to go over the rules real quick, give you a chance to pause the video, see if you can come up with a solution, and then I will jump back in and give you the answer. So the first and most important rule of all PossibilityStorm.com puzzles is you got to win this turn. No passing, hoping for the best, hoping the opponent makes a mistake, you draw something good. Got to win this turn. For this puzzle in specific, that means dealing seven points of damage to the opponent through some blockers and the Spires of Veraska, also a lifelinking blocker. So keep that in mind as well. We have a bunch of creatures, some pump spells in hand, some tricks, including Path to Metal that we could potentially flip. So I'm going to let you pause the video, see if you can come up with a solution to this week's PossibilityStorm.com puzzle, and I will be right back to give you the answer. How did you do? Did you come up with a solution to this week's PossibilityStorm.com puzzle? So let's break down what we have going on with this puzzle. So first off, opponent is at 7 life, although that's slightly deceiving because they have an aerial responder. So if they block with aerial responder and the damage resolves, they actually are going to go up to 9 life. So we got to keep that in mind. Otherwise, they have two bellowing Aegeosaurs as blockers. Basically just 3 fives. Like, yes, maybe there's some reason the pumping becomes relevant with aerial responder to gain our opponent more life, but for the most part, they're just two more blockers. And then our opponent has Spires of Araska, which is actually pretty interesting on this board state. Normally, it's just like a Maze of it to untap a creature, but we'll talk about why it's a little bit tricky here in a minute. On our side of the battlefield, we have a Motley crew, or maybe a Rowdy crew of attackers. Taj Krapoli 2-2 can exert to pump our team. Rowdy Crew has the counters on it. We got lucky with the discard, so it's a 5-5 with Trample. Needletooth Raptor can enrage to shoot down opposing creatures. Tillin on the Skin Shifter can theoretically become a copy of one of our other creatures, as long as they're both attacking. As far as our hand, mostly pump spells, also a fanatical fire brand, which is mostly of note because we can use it along with our Skin Shifter to flip our path of metal. So how do we actually break through and win this game? So most obviously, just slamming our team into our opponent's team isn't going to work. We attack with everything. Our opponent can just block, block, block. They could use their Spires of Araska to fizzle part of the attack. So just the straight up swing the team plan isn't going to work here. Also worth mentioning, only four mana. So we're a little pinched on mana at the moment. As far as our hand, Radiant Destiny, not very good because only Rowdy Crew and Skin Sifter actually share a creature type so it's kind of just like pumping two of our creatures so it's not super exciting sure strike has red favor give us more pump spells yes we got to sack the creature to Hazard's favor at the end of turn but we don't really care because if we don't win this turn we lose anyway and then fanatical firebrand like i mentioned can get in one damage can also flip our path to metal or gives us a way to trigger in rage if that's what we need to do so how do we go about winning from here and i think that step one is we need to try to get rid of some of our opponent's creatures to be able to force through motor damage. So the easiest way for us to do this without having any actual removable spells is just use one of our red mana, cast Fanatical Firebrand, and use it to ping our own Needletooth Raptor. So that triggers Enrage, lets us deal 5 damage to a creature the opponent controls, which means we can just shoot down Aerial Responder, which means we get rid of the lifelink problem. So our opponent's not going to be going up to 9 after blocking. So that that's step one. Then we go to attacks, and when we attack, the first thing we want to do is make sure we exert our Taj Crop Elite to pump our stuff, and then we need to copy our Taj Crop Elite with the Skin Shifter's copying ability. So Skin Sifter will become a second Taj Crop Elite. However, this is where things get a little bit tricky. In
theory, that would be a lot of flying damage getting in. But our opponent has an option here. And this is where Spires of Araska gets really tricky. So Spires of Araska can untap an attacking creature, Tillanali Skin Shifter. Whenever it attacks, it becomes a copy of another non-legendary attacking creature. So what our opponent can do here is use the Spires of Araska to target our Taj Crop Elite. So not only will this prevent the damage from the Tosh Crop Elite, it'll also fizzle the Skin Sifter activation. So instead of being a 3-3 flyer, a 3-4 flyer, or whatever it is, the Skin Sifter is going to be just a small ground creature, which makes it a lot less scary for our opponent. So our opponent's going to do that to fizzle our stuff, because if they don't, we get in with the flyers, we have tramplers, we have pump spells to win the game. So our opponent fizzles our attack, which leaves us with a 6-6 trampling rowdy crew attacking, a 3-3 enraged needletooth raptor attacking, and a 1-2 Tillanali Skin Shifter attacking. That's what's going in our opponent. So now our opponent has a bunch of different options for blocking with their two belling a Geosaur. So they have a couple of blocks that are just obviously bad. If they double block on our smallest creature, they die. If they double block on our second smallest creature, the Needletooth Raptor, they obviously die. If they double block on our 6-6 six, six creature, the Rowdy Crew, that's where we can use one of our pump spells to force through the extra damage. We, for example, throw our Sure Strike at our Needletooth Raptor, makes it a 6 power attacker, Skin Sifter, 1 power attacker, so our opponent would still be dead there. If they do some multiple blockings, for example, they block our 2-1 and our 3-3, Sure Strike on our Rowdy Crew makes him die. If they block our biggest creature, along with our smallest creature, to eat the trample, Sure Strike still gets the job done. So in theory, the best thing our opponent can do to prevent the most damage is just to block our two biggest creatures. I mean, that kind of sounds simple. We went through a lot of different options, but our opponent blocks our 6-6. Six, six. They block our 3-3, three, three, which means they'll be soaking up all except one of the trample damage from Rowdy Crew. They'll be taking one from Tillanali Skin Sifter. So at that point, we have to get a little bit tricky because just throwing our pump spell, our Sure Strike, at our unblocked creature isn't enough. Tillanelli Skin Sifter would hit for four, Rowdy Crew for one would put our opponent to five. That's not enough to get the job done. However, we can do something tricky here. We need to cast our Sure Strike targeting our opponent's creature that's blocking our Needletooth Raptor. And then that will trigger Enrage with first strike damage and allow us to use the damage from the Needletooth Raptor, the Enrage Trigger, to shoot down the Bellowing Aegisaur that's blocking our Rowdy Crew, which means all the Trample damage will get through. We'll hit our opponent for six, we'll hit them for one with the Tillanali Skin Shifter and win the game. So that's what makes the puzzle so tricky. You're normally locked into thinking about your pump spells going on your own creature, and with a lot of blocking combinations, if the opponent doesn't block optimally, that would get the job done. However, in this case, if our opponent blocks right, and we have to assume that they will, then we have to actually use Sure Strike, not so much for the plus ability, but for the first strike ability on our opponent's creature to allow us to trigger Enrage on our Needletooth Raptor to kill the Bellowing Aegisaur blocking our Rowdy Crew to get in exactly 7 damage and win the game. So, how did you do? Did you come up with that solution? The Sure Strike, the opponent's creature solution? To this week's possibility storm puzzle let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for winning outside of the ones we talked about with the obviously bad blocks if our opponent blocks suboptimally it's really easy to win if you have another way of winning if the opponent blocks well make sure to let me know that as well because i would be curious to see anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.